today's mobility training tip, I've been sitting in the sauna, kind of chilling, been spending a lot more time in my life uh, trying to observe and almost see life as a meditation. Show up, do the work I'm supposed to do, but I'm not in as hungry of a mindset, meaning I got a lot going for me, I am where I need to be, so I just need to like, chill out and observe and see the next path, the next course of action. And the thing that I've kind of pondering, I had a question, I even had a comment on a video that kind of spun this into my head, okay? So we all have our strengths that we're naturally predetermined to. Most people who lift weights are naturally stronger, okay? Most people who are naturally gravitate towards a sport have the, you know, things in their body. For basketball, for example, I was naturally inclined to jump, move quick. That's why I was drawn to the sport because I was good at it because of those things, okay? And that's someone kind of comment about, okay, like your mobility, okay? Sometimes, like, the thing that you need to train the most is not what actually is the best for you, okay? So, for example, for me, my strength and my power output are my main strengths. I don't need to train a lot of strength and power, honestly. I just have it pretty naturally. So, if I do a little bit of strength and power work, my body can exhibit it right away. But the whole thing behind mobility, the whole thing behind me needing to train like this is because naturally, I suck at it. I suck at mobility. I suck at flexibility. I suck at having a body that really is lubricated and feels good for the most part. I'm just naturally just er, strong, powerful. That's it. So the point I'm trying to make to you is when you're in your sport, when you're trying to display your art, compete or whatever, use your strengths to the fullest, okay? You, know, you don't need to go use your weaknesses, okay? But when you're practicing and you need to accentuate your strengths, you must build your weaknesses. Okay, so for my jiu-jitsu people out there, if you have great upper body control from uh, side control, play good north-south Kamora game, whatnot, whatever. But if your weakness is passing someone's guard, then when you get in the gym, you need to do more guard passing work. Does that make sense? Because if you can't pass your guard, you can't get to the point where you exhibit your strength. So, but then when you get in the match though, it's operation get to their half guard, or their side control, sorry. So you can exhibit that north-south, that Kamora based game, okay? So the point, of the, the point of the matter I'm trying to get across is, exhibit your strengths when it's time to be under the lights, but when you're in the darkness, Working on yourself, work on your weaknesses. Until next time, guys, stay mobile, stay functional, perform better in your life. Check out more below. Thanks.